on Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile. Come on, Vector. Let's see what you've got. I always knew you were a coward. How dare you speak to me that way! You don't command any respect. Unlike Nash. Speaking of your dear, beloved brother, you didn't have the itsy-bitsiest clue that I already caught him! <sighs> Nash! Every time I get my life points back, I get my energy by stealing his! <laughs> well, well, well. If it ain't my old pal Alito, I can't believe you betrayed Dot Thousand to team up with Yuma, but I can believe I'm gonna take you out. You're gonna need this, Alito. <sighs> Beat Garag with this number. It'll free him of Don Thousand. I won't let you down, Yuma. <laughs> I activate the trap, Sacred Shield! Duman, you're brilliant! This makes Ragnafinity powerful enough to defeat Vector! We'll win! Sacred Shield has one final effect. I must take all the damage that it absorbed at the end of this turn. That means you'll lose! I end my turn! <laughs>
I'm still in this fight, Garog! I overlay my level 2 Batlet Boxer Big Bandages to build the Overlay Network! Hayek C7 number 64! Rodin Raccoon Sundayu! What the? That used to be my number! <gasps> Number Guardian? You came just at the right time. I'm trying to make the rod come to his senses. Will you help me? You bet I will. <laughs> I activate Ronin Raccoon Sandayu's special ability! By using one overlay unit, I summon one Kagemusha Raccoon token! Now! Kagemusha Raccoon Token's attack points become the same as the monster with the most attack points on the field! So it's got just as many attack points as your giant red hand. All right, Kagemusha, attack giant red hand! You're out of your head. Only a number can destroy a number. I'm very well aware of that, Garag. <laughs> Are you aware of this? The trap last counter? Your monster gives all its attack points to my number. It's got 3,600 attack points. If Alito destroys Garag's chaos number with the Metherian number, Don Thousand won't control him. Rodin Raccoon Sendayu, attack giant red hand. Yeah! This'll bring Garak to his senses! <laughs> All right, Garag, it's time! Remember what really happened to you! I will now rewrite your memories. Right. Memories? You will believe your leaders betrayed you and set up your downfall. Your thirst for revenge will serve me well in Barrier World. Your mind and soul both belong to me. <laughs> yes. I remember now. <laughs>
Well, what do you know? Even more attack points for High Manipulator of Chaos! I do hope you're watching, Nash, because the third time's the charm! <laughs> Vector! Enough! Uh, you've got me where you want me! Vector! Let her go! Victor, Victor and Darn Thousand messed up my head. Oh, Alito! Uh, uh, you were a tough nut to crack, Arak, but it seems I finally broke Darn Thousand's control over you. I hope it was worth the effort. You saved me, uh, Alito! Stay there! There's one last step in our duel. Due to my trap card last counter, I take damage equal to the monster that was destroyed. That's 2,600 points, and I've only got 200 life points left. Why, Alito? Why are you taking a dive from me? Garag, no matter what happens, you were always in my corner. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got the chance to be in yours. Uh Leo. Yuma, Astral, I just fought my last round. I wish I could have helped you more. But you'll have to defeat Don Thousand without me. If anybody can do it, you can. You're champions. <gasps> Alito. Goodbye, and thanks, Yuma, for everything. Alito! Yet I am certain you knew that I would come. How unfortunate that Quentin and Trey are unable to join us. I know, no thanks to you. I have a great deal of respect for them. They battled me to the end so you and Yuma could get away. I know. Thanks to them, I can finally prove that I am the true Galaxy Eyes Master. I would not count on that. gonna be teammates. Why'd this have to happen? I'm so sorry, Alito. <laughs> Dark Thousand and Vector tricked us both. Messed up both our memories. 
It's their fault! A thousand and Vector! You'll pay! <laughs> huh? Rod! Humor! <gasps> I got for you! Oh. Huh? his life for you. I thought I should do the same. Now it's up to you, Yuma. You go get him. Garag! Master! I always knew that you would do the right thing in the end. Ponta! Now enough already! Garag! <laughs> Gone. Why, you. Vector! You're all gonna lead to or no more, Yuma, and I have their powers! But they won't be lonely! They'll be with Duman and Marin! <laughs> <laughs> no way! You're lying! Oh, I'm telling the truth! Which is quite rare for me, I know! <gasps> How horrible! Vector! Next, I'll crush you, Astro, and the rest of the Emperors! And then, the Numeron Code will be mine! <laughs> huh? Vector! Ah! You're lucky I've got a nasty little gnash that no ointment can cure! But I'll be back to vaporize you both! Vector! This duel has been a long time in the making. It has brought our two galaxy eyes together. And interestingly enough, their union will also act as a key. A key to unlocking the Numeron Code. I uncovered everything about the Numeron Code when I returned to the ruins where I battled Jinlon. There I found a stone monolith and learned the legend of the Numeron Code. Well, Kite, you came as I knew you would. Jinlon. Here is written the secret history of how the Numeron Code came to be. At the dawn of time, there was a single dragon, the source of all knowledge. As it was the only creature in existence, it was lonely. So to cure its loneliness, it used its power to create the universe. However, this massive act of creation used up all the dragon's power. So the dragon started to fade away into nothing. This made the dragon sad, as it would never be able to witness how the universe would unfold. Mourning the loss of what was not to be, the dragon shed a single tear before it vanished. That tear held all the dragon's knowledge and emotions. It traveled across the vast cosmos until... It collided with the Earth and the force of its impact gave birth to the moon. The knowledge in that tier created the Numeron Code? Yes. The Numeron Code remains hidden on Earth, and the key to finding it is on the moon. Since the Numeron Code can rewrite both the past and the future, the dragon knew it must be protected from those who would use it for evil. For this reason, the dragon used the numbers to put a seal of protection on the code. Carved in the stone, I found this riddle. Dragons of light and time, born in the land hidden by light. A duel at this unseen soil will reveal the code. The riddle only points to one place. That's what led me to the moon. The dragons of light and time. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and Tachyon Dragon. Exactly. And when they battle on this sacred land, the winner will get the key to the Numeron Code. That means the stakes have never been higher. Not only will we learn who the true Galaxy Eyes Master is, whoever wins will be one step closer to the Numeron Code. 
Actually, there's even more at stake. What makes you think that? There were two galaxy eyes engraved on the monolith. But there was also a third dragon. What could it be? Battle me, and find out for yourself. I thought you would never ask. Now we shall finally discover which one of us is the true Galaxy Eyes Master!